You're listening to the Podcast Detroit Network. Visit www.podcastdetroit.com for more information. That is the Man Cave Happy Hour. We're here at the Sugar House in Detroit with the Michigan Bourbon Club and just tasting some amazing bourbons tonight. And it's, it's a special one. It's Angel's Envy. And the Angel's Envy representatives are here and treating us extraordinarily, extremely, incredibly well. Things are pouring. Things are flying. There's like just just a wonderful gig bag of of stuff and uh Corey is here with me and Corey uh what what do you do for Angel's Envy? So I actually my uh role is the lead guardian for the central region and basically the whiskey guardian program is a fun program that Angel's launched to kind of help with the marketing and awareness and education of the product itself so there are I think 52 to 56 roughly at any given time, Whiskey Guardians across the United States. And we kind of do these things, what you're doing right now and the interactions you're having with all the, the people here. And we come out and we taste you and educate you on the product. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun and we all enjoy doing this. And as you can see, everybody has a great time with it and it helps promote the brand and show the love that Angels has for the community. It's a riot. He's he's one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. There you go. That's funny. <laughs> he's a brand guardian. I love it. All right, so Angel's Envy, we came here tonight to the Sugar House with the Michigan Bourbon Club, and uh, we had three pours. Uh, what, because I'm a novice, you know, Corey, I, I, thanks for helping me out, because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I got Jason, my buddy, here with me. He knows what he's doing, but I have no idea whatsoever. So what did I have tonight? Uh, what did you do to me? Well, tonight you guys were actually extremely lucky, I have to say. So first off, we have our flagship, we like to call that. It is our bourbon. So it's our port finished bourbon. And um, it's pretty much the, the most available out of the three. We produced three products, and you guys were able to try all three of them tonight. The bourbon, the rye, and the cast drink. So the bourbon is a port-finished bourbon. Spends a little bit of time, in the, the four, four years to be exact, in the uh, American white oak, freshly charred, and then the, uh, port, uh, the ruby port barrels for about six months. So the second will be the uh, rye, which is the rye is a, a, a big treat. And as I was talking to him about this earlier, Jason, and um, it really is something unique for, you know, all the people who love rye and appreciate rye for what it is. This is something that's so unique and, and the characteristics of it are so amazing. It is a uh, 100 proof rye that is finished in Caribbean rum cask for 16 months. So spending that whole season in that rum barrel, breathing over that year, will bring out so much characteristics of the rum cask into the rye. And it just creates this unbelievable product that is just so amazing to have and, and sought after in every region all, all across the US. People absolutely love it. The third one you guys got to have, which is blew my mind that this was even, you know, we were able to get this for this whole thing, was our cast strength. The cast strength is definitely the, excuse me, uh, definitely the hardest to come by, and this year's clock's in at 124.5. We got a picture of the bottle. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was amazing. It was, uh, it was, it was yummy. Uh, it was warm, uh, but it finished, it finished like really well. Well, that's the thing is, you know, people are, are kind of intimidated by uh, barrel proof uh, whiskeys, but because we are a blended whiskey, and you know, everyone involved in it from the bottling all the way up to the blending to the picking of the barrels really know what they're doing. So, like, honestly, uh, this year's version was absolutely amazing. It, it is warm, it is a bigger whiskey, but the fun thing about a cast strength is you can kind of create your own blend, if you will, or your, your own proof. So you can add a little bit of water to it, add some ice to it to try to dilute it and create that flavor profile you're really looking for. But, you know, if not, then you can dive right in and you can pull so much of that port and so much of that bourbon out of that whiskey. That yeah, it, it's absolutely, it, it's one of the biggest treats that I was so happy to be able to share with you guys on this trip, man. We were we were pretty happy to to have it. I'm a novice, Jay. I'm gonna put you on the spot because you drink you drink bourbon like a mofo. No, not really. But <laughs> but you you do you do like it. You you love the Angel's Envy. What did you think about the cast strength? I was fantastic. Um, yeah, a- Angel's Envy is my favorite bourbon of all time. Um, it's it's probably a bottle that I keep. Uh, stocked in my house as, as best as I can. The cast strength was, it was uh, strong coming out, um, but it mellowed out. It's it's very warm on the palate and, and easy going down, just like the Angel's Envy. A little 
on the sweet side as opposed to like a burn and just like, oh my God, like what the hell did I just take? And so it was warm, it was delicious, easy going down. First one that went down for me and I wish I could have more. So yeah, it clocked in, you said at like 142 point something, One, something. 125, or I'm sorry, 124.5. All right. So And also, every year it changes just a little bit. So, uh, you know, Kyle and Henderson and everyone involved in the blending process of it really likes to kind of give a little bit of a different profile each year. And that's what makes Angel's Cast Strength so amazing and exclusive because it really does change a little bit every year. And, it, and it's fun, you know. It's just fun to collect it and get in there and see what's happening every year in the new the new blend that those guys have created. It really is amazing. All right, so Corey, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to have you back. No, no, I know. We're going to have you back, and you're going to tell us a story about where you get your products and, and what goes into it and, the, and, 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 and just everything from, from the farm to the bottle. And you, you'll, you'll check with the attorneys. <laughs> And then you'll come back to me, and you can tell me what you tell me. This is, so the next time, so there won't be a next time, because I'm telling them this is the info I want. So, but I, I, that's, that's why I want. I want the backstory on it. So, but I, I, we really appreciate uh, everything you guys did for us tonight. It was, uh, it was brilliant. Uh, the, the rye, uh, it really uh, tickled my fancy. So, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you guys for coming. This has absolutely been a treat for me. And Detroit is amazing. If anyone listens from outside of Detroit, please come visit. You'd be very pleasantly surprised. The bourbon, the cocktail scene, the people, absolutely beautiful. Right, so, what, so can people come to the distillery and uh, take a tour, and what will they see? 100%. So we actually opened up the distillery uh, two Novembers ago, not this last November, the, uh, the November before that. And, um, yeah, it's wonderful. It's built from the ground up. There's a lot of amazing stories there. Our finishing room is amazing. You can have an awesome cocktail and try all of our bourbons and rise there. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I highly suggest it. But if you do um, decide to make a, a trip down to Louisville and take a trip at 500 East Main Street, then I would make your reservation bare minimum three months out. Um, it is absolutely exploded and very popular right now. And yeah, you'll, you'll go check it out and then you get to explore Louisville afterwards. One of the biggest perks. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome.